the British Grand Prix ends the first series in the championship event and draws enormous crowds. Clark and Hill are in pole position again on the grid, with Brabham and a further 18 cars lined up behind. Twenty-four sleepless hours by dedicated Lotus mechanics gave Hill a rebuilt car after an inexplicable crunch at practice. From the start, Hill piles into the lead, but is almost immediately taken by Clark. The field soon splits into two groups, with Clark and Hill running 1-2 from Hulm, Brabham, Eamon and Gurney in his eagle. It's a real racegoers day, with fine weather for 130,000 spectators. Denny Hulm in the number two Brabham shows a clean line trailing the leaders Clark and Hill through Stowe avoiding the oil thrown out by the unfortunate Jochen Rint, who retires, his new 36-valve Cooper Maserati emitting strange noises early in the race. Hill suddenly grabs the lead and laps Surtees in the Honda to the restrained delight of the Lotus pit. The moment of triumph is short-lived, for he sheds a bolt at Stowe and comes wobbling into the pit with a distinctly modified suspension. Clark again in the lead, and when Hill restarts, he's down to number nine in the field. Hill shoots off at a cracking pace to retrieve valuable seconds, but the lap board tells the story. Bruce McLaren into the pits, and Graham Hill's return is short-lived, as he too calls it a day. Jim Clark is now approaching his final lap and all are willing him to the checkered flag. This is the moment shared by thousands and relished by the Ford and Lotus camp. The intoxication of a popular win. 